Hi, I'm Rob, and in this Gems of War video, I'm going to show you the first team I've made using the Turquoise Emperor. The spell is White Lotus, deal damage to all enemies, boosted by blessed allies, and give between 3 and 10 mana to all other allies. That part of the spell is pretty interesting, give 3 to 10 mana to all other allies, and I took full advantage of this in this team I've created. First trait is Revered, all allies gain two random skill points. Second one is Sky Ancestry, immune to Mana Drain, Silence, Fairy Fire and Mana Burn, which is cool because it means when he gets his mana he pretty much keeps it. And Lotus Blessing, a 50% chance to bless all allies when matching four or more gems. So when you do that, that's going to push up that damage boost at the same time, as well as provide a nifty cleanse to the team. He's got a new groove apparently, but let's take a look at the team. Right. The team I've made for this is called No Emperor 3. We have three emperors and empresses. The Empress, the Emperor, Turquoise Emperor, Emperor. <laughs> no hero, no Emperor 3. Do you see? I oh, know. Awesome, isn't it? Anyway, the, one of the keys to this is the fact that the Empress uses only six mana, the Emperor only uses six mana, and Thrall only uses six mana. And the turqu turquoise emperor, when you cast it, gives between 3 and 10 mana to all other allies. So there's a very good chance that you can charge all three of these up instantly as soon as you cast that at the same time. Now, one of the things about this is the empress, she gives magic based or magic plus one to all skills on the last ally. With a 7% chance of an extra turn for each green gem on the board. So that is um, going to really boost up the power of our the troop at the back, whose initial base damage is a little bit low. This is kind of a regular thing with some troops. They need a bit of a damage boost sometimes to make them effective. But that's all well and good. Because the Emperor will use him to give magic half, roughly, to all skills on the first ally. With a 7% chance of an extra turn for each blue on the board. So that's going to be cast first to boost up the Empress even more. Who then casts to basically charge up this guy massively. At the same time, this is going to likely charge up Thrall because these only require six mana each. And you could just uh, take it from there. You just um, cast your Thrall, you look for purple at the beginning, cast Thrall. If you don't have a Thrall or you don't have um, a high magic level for your Thrall, so you're not destroying a lot of gems, chuck on some Anoisha Medals to boost up the amount of gems he destroys. Failing that, you can use this with Mountain Crusher as well, a or weapon. That works pretty well, and even uh, the Wand of Stars works pretty well with it as well, regarding a weapon. Still in Geomancer, so you get that half mana start. And the good thing about using Brown on this as well is you basically don't mana block anybody with Mountain Crusher. But like I say, Wand of Stars did work really well as well. Failing all of that, did actually try it with Leprechaun. Didn't like it as much as Thrall, but basically if you don't have a high level Thrall that destroys lots of gems, you can try Leprechaun to a pretty decent effect. Right, so this is the team I'm going to try here. The banner for this is just a plain old plus to green banner. I think that was because I was trying this with Wanda Stars at first, so maybe I could actually improve on that banner because we don't use brown or red. So let's see what we had here. So I probably could have done better with that. So that's um, not a bad shout straight away. We'll pick that anyway. But we could do with extra yellow really as well because if we get a mana surge on green or blue, but they're going to get charged up anyway, so it doesn't actually make too much difference. Um, that's actually not bad. That's actually not too bad at all. Yeah, we'll pick that instead. Extra yellow for our new groovy emperor. In fact, that's even better. That's far better, because that means with th this banner, plus two purple, and the plus one you get from Thrall, means you're going to get a uh, guaranteed to get Thrall up with a single match of purple. You don't need a mana surge for, to get him charged up. So that is actually really, really good. So yeah, plus two purple is the way to go with this team. Geomancer class for this. Um, if you're going to use a weapon with it, like I said, Mountain Crusher or Wander Stars do work really well, then a Geomancer class is the way to go with that. And this is the kind of champion talents you'll be looking at picking, but it makes no difference when you don't have a hero in the team. So... That's only relevant if you stick in a hero, but let's take a look at how this team works because it's pretty powerful because Thrall gets charged up so quick. You can actually go about this two ways. You can either cast these two back to back, Emperor first, then the Empress give this dude a massive increase in power. Cast that, really good chance of charging up the all troops straight away, all three of these because they require less than 
the mana that this guy can create absolutely instantly. But uh, failing that, you can just actually just cast Thrall again or just repeat these over and over to your heart's content until the Turquoise Emperor is in one shot range of everybody. So uh, let's take it out of there and see what we can do. All right, let's dive into a few Explore 12s then, see what we can do. Three times nice for this to boost up the damage of our team. Looking for purple if we can. Zygen is fine. Let's bash up a few goblins. We'll grab that extra turn anyway, even though we don't use those colours. Thrall's ready. When you cast this, you're bound to get your top troops up absolutely straight away. Now, right now, the bottom troop is only doing 56 damage to all enemies, but it does give 3 to 10 mana to all other allies. So basically, it's got a chance, a very good chance, to charge up all three of these troops right away again as soon as we cast that bottom troop. This is really, really useful. And also, the top two troops both have a decent chance of an extra turn. Currently, like we're going to give 28 all skills on the first ally, and we've got a 63% boost on the extra turn. So that means a effectively a 63% extra chance of an extra turn. Empress currently gives 454 to all skills on the last ally with a 98% chance of an extra turn. Really good. So let's do this first. We got the extra turn. Empress now does 82 to all skills on the last ally. There's the extra turn. We're now going to cast this. We're doing 138 damage to all enemies boosted by blessed allies and give that 3 to 10 mana to all other allies. Really good chance of getting both charged up instantly. There it is. Let's do it again. Do it again. Cast the wild to charge everybody up. And we're now doing a whopping 248 damage to all allies. If you need to do it again, you can just do it again. If you've got plenty of uh, life, plenty of damage rather, then you can just finish them off in one go. Let's do that now at a more normal speed. There's our purple. There's our thrall. Let's cast one, then the other. Let's see if we get the full charge straight away. We did. There we go again. Let's charge thrall. Cast thrall again. To get the bottom troop charged up. And you can do it in a single cast if you want. You can just repeat cast with the Empress and Emperor to do it all in one go. Whatever takes your fancy. Let's just have a go at that. See what we can do with getting the bottom troop wildly out of control regarding damage. Well, you won't say no to that kind of malarkey going on. Here's the first boost. There we go. Both of them got charged up straight away. Let's do it again. Charge Thrall. Cast Thrall. Rather. Enchanted. We're ready now. Job done. Oh, I think I said I was going to try and do them in a single hit. You can do that. Obviously, you just got to repeat cast the Emperor and Empress again. Try that. Let's see how this works then. Let's go for it. Right. There's the first cast of them. Let's cast Thrall to charge everybody up. Let's do that again on them. Let's cast Thrall again to charge everybody up. And do it again. I'm guessing right now, but really quick when you're just getting to the flow of this. 386 to all enemies. That's plenty. Kaput. Done. Bingo bango. Kaboosh. Whatever you like. Right, let's do the mini boss. There's our purple. I think the th fact, I think it's actually quicker to do it the way I just did it by just casting these two over and over and then uh, just casting Thrall to charge them up. Whatever takes your fancy. And you can do it this way. You're going to do the initial damage. That's going to definitely charge up the second troop now. Done. Done. Cast Thrall. Thrall will finish the job. And Kaboosh. Alright, let's do the mythic boss battle. Come on. Fairy godmother. You don't stand a chance, you old crone. What you do when there's no purple? Flip. Not a bit of purple in sight anywhere. Mana surge. Mana surge. 
any purple on the board at any point ever? Right, let's get our boost going on then and see if we can do it without thrall. Right, we finally got some purple. Purple does actually exist. Let's get the boost again. What are we doing now? 248. Let's cast Thrall one more time. Just going to take out those fairy godmother gems at the same time. And bash them all around a bonce and get them out of there. Job done. So there it is. There's my first team using the Turquoise Emperor. Now the cool thing about this combination, just to finish up on, is that it's really good for pretty much any team where the last troop does damage to all. I'm actually looking forward to trying this out with Tesla. I'm going to try that soon, actually, because that could be pretty awesome. Or even someone like Draculus. Imagine Draculus, who steals all that life with this base set up here. Could be really, really good. I'm going to try that out next. So there it is, a really cool team with a really awesome a combination of troops you can use for basically any damage to all troops that is sitting in last place. But there's a video. If you enjoyed it, found it useful or helpful, be really cool if you bash that like and subscribe button. It really does help. But most of all, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you again next time. Bye for now.